Good morning. Today we will be going to Ikea and the mall, and then at some point we're going to get Chick-fil-A. That's pretty much all I know. Uh, we're going to Ikea because we need to look at couches. We don't really need to, we just want to. Anyway, and Ikea is always fun. So we're gonna go to Ikea and do that, and then we're going to the mall because Emily has to get me a Valentine's Day present that she showed me this morning. Sorry to know what it is. Um, she needs to go to Urban, and that's where we might get Chick-fil-A because I know I'm gonna smell it, and I know I'm gonna want it. And then we'll come home and chill for the rest of the day probably and watch Ozark. So that's pretty much the plans for today. So stick around, I'm sure it'll be an exciting, thrilling, action-filled, heart-stopping vlog. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's roll the intro and get on the road because we need to leave in 10 minutes. So, um, I just got ready. My BB cream looks horrible. Oh my God, I can't see. My BB cream looks horrible. It was not working with me today, so that's awesome because I wanted to take Instagram pictures, but it's me, so I expect nothing less. We're gonna make like a banana. I can't, I can't even say that. That's just, that's too cringy. Um, okay, roll the intro. Okay, we're at the mall now. Any updates? Mm, we need to go. <laughs> we need to go to Sephora and American Eagle and an essential oil place and Urban Outfit. Yes, we're going to an essential oil place because I got her her Valentine's Day early Valentine's Day. I got her a diffuser for the living room, so we need to get some crap for that. And then I need to go to Sephora because I need to look for rosehip oil. I've looked at three. Two, three, four places, four, I don't even know, a million places, and I've not been able to find it. Um, and then I need to look for a Gucci cologne, because I have a gift card. And I'm gonna spend it, and I have, there's, there's this Gucci cologne I have my eye on, it smells very florally, very spring, summer kind of vibes, and that's what we're coming up on. So I'm like, let me cop. Yep. <laughs> We are in the car now, and we're about to go home. And I will give a haul, and she will give a haul. Story time. Of everything we got, and I guess we story have a time. story time now. That Chick-fil-A, as you saw. Um, long story short, so basically, we were in the line, and they were like, okay, and then we go, and we wait for our food. Well, it was taking a long time, like we were waiting, and everybody was getting their food, and they were like, hey, it's gonna be a minute on your grilled chicken nuggets. I was like, okay. So we were waiting and waiting and waiting, and then she comes out with the bag, and she was like, oh, well, you're gonna have to wait, like, and I'll call you back up here when your chicken nuggets are done, but here's the rest of your food. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we get to the table. They gave us a brownie. They gave us a brownie. So we have the brownie, and we had a dessert. Hey, we did that. We have the brownie. Um, I love whenever, like, fast food restaurants screw up something, or they take it too long, and they give you free crap. Like, that's the best. Like, McDonald's did that one time, which I was really shocked at, because it's McDonald's. Like, I kind of just expect the worst, as much as I love them. But, like, they gave me apple pie once, because they took forever, and I was like, wow, the world is healing. McDonald's cares about their customers. Anything else to say? I'm so tired. But we will see you- The hall will be big. You only got, like, one thing. Okay, well, don't tell them that, because they need a reason There's to stick a around. There's a hall. Big hall. Big hall. Big Huge things. haul. Okay, we'll see you when you get home. Or when, not when you get home, when I, when we get home. Okay, here's the fit check. Here's, uh, okay, this is not a good idea. Here's the fit check. Here's the fit check. I have on these shoes, these pants that have hair all over them. I have on this shirt, Urban Outfitters. Oh my God, this Urban Outfitters. Let me tell you all about this. This Urban Outfitters girl was like, oh, where'd you get your shirt from? And I was like, oh, Target forever ago. And she was like, oh, I just thrifted like the same one the other day. And I was like, okay. She asked how much it was. Then Emily was like, oh, I think it was like $12 or something. And she goes, oh, that's not bad. And I was like, do you know where you work? Do you know where you work? <laughs> do you know where you work? Urban Outfitters, ma'am. For a graphic tee these days, that's like dirt cheap. Oh, and you're gonna my say, necklaces. what? My necklaces. You're gonna say that's not bad. Like that's cheap, girl. Like you work at Urban Outfitters where a graphic tee cost literally $50, $60. And you're gonna say 12 isn't that bad. So yeah, I don't know. She was nice, but I was just like, 
You're working at Urban Outfitters. I would, I've never in my life bought a graphic tee from Urban Outfitters. I have. Well, mm, I don't know. I've bought, I bought a couple because they were really cute. But then you get home and you watch them and they shrink <laughs> four sizes. And you're like, oh, the camera's moving everywhere. Sorry, hold on. Okay. Let me get you guys on a tripod so Emily can show you the necklaces. They were having a sale. And so everything that was on clearance already was an extra 50% off, so. Oh, can y'all believe that? Like, first of all, Urban Outfitters having a sale. I'm like, how? And then, it being an extra 50% off, I'm like, are we at Urban Outfitters right now? So yeah, this was only $4. And it has little mushrooms and little smiley faces, and it's really cute. And then I got this one. This one was $1.99. What was the original price of both of these items? This was originally 16. You can see like the little smiley face on the flowers. And then this was originally 18. That's crazy. Here's my haul. We went to plant therapy. It's in the mall. I got some CBD drops. So that's it. Yeah, I've got some stress oil drops. They're literally called stress oil drops. And I was, the girl was like, oh, do you have any questions? And I was like, girl, I have anxiety. I need something. And she was like, oh, here's this. And I've been looking at that for what a while, but I was like, cute. I've been looking at that for a while and I was like, I want to get some. So then I got some. So hopefully that'll help me not have as bad anxiety. So I um, will keep you posted on that journey. Beverly's been cute. We've been gone all day. So that's probably why I think she's cute. Cause when she has all day to annoy me, I don't think she's cute. But right she's now, really needy. she gets she so gets needy in sometimes. She just like very needy moves occasionally. And you can't even see the necklace and all her fat and hair. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to take this one out. Please. I'm Okay, do not make her smile. Um, well, Emily's gonna light a candle about three inches away from my face. And I don't know what we're about to do now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what we're about to do. But guess what? You'll know on the next clip. So stick around. lights are off and the blinds are still closed because the movie just ended basically i don't know if i'd say cry but like my eyes got teary and like one strand of tear falled if that counts as crying but hey that movie got me a little emotional see here's the tea i here's the q a i want to have with like anybody who's ever seen it is like are your parents divorced because i feel like if you are a child i'm carrying this blanket to the table right now for what? I don't know, I just, I feel like if you're a child of divorce, like the movie is gonna hit a little harder, you know? You can like, I don't know how you feel. You feel for them, you know, you feel for them. Um, you didn't ask for any of that, but Emily's upstairs on FaceTime with someone and I am about to call Kara back because I forced her to watch it with me and which I try to call her because we started at the same time and then I call her and then she's like, oh, I'm still watching it. Do the math, everyone, do the math. Okay, well now she's FaceTiming me. So I'm gonna go talk to her and yell at her. Okay, we are going to Target. Um, this is what happens every time we leave. Beverly sits up here and stares at us like this. Every single time. They ignore that trash next to her. But we yell at her to stay up there and not come down here because she's going to be going up and down the stairs for no reason. Um, why are we going to Target? Um, I want to get some stomach medicine. My stomach's upset. And then you wanted to smell the colognes. Oh yeah, there's some colognes. Because the one I have now is very, very folly. So I just need something. I need something else not folly. my snack for the road. We have my Gemini cup and um, almond crackers and <laughs> I don't know how to talk. <laughs> and salami and cheese. Okay. That's fun. Oh, if you're like curious if I found anything at Sephora, I found neither of the things I went there for. So Love you, bye. that was awesome. Um, okay, we're getting in the car. Let's take an, a late night. Well, it's not late night. It's just seven o'clock, but you know, it's pitch black outside. So, um, okay. Well, uh, just...
what this, I don't know what this setup is, but do we like it? Cause I think I do. You can see the crystal in our box and our Xbox and Beverly likes, Beverly knows how to turn the Xbox on. Random fact that you didn't need to know, but she can like literally turn it on and it's annoying. And she can also like, she knows where to like hit the thing to like make it like the disc come out. So that's always awesome. What do we want this, this to be? I like magenta. I, there's something about magenta lights. I don't know what it is. Wow, I look like a YouTuber. I don't know if magenta's the vibe. Maybe blue. Is that? Okay, well it's showing up as like purple. On um, Okay, anyway, Beverly's sitting here. Like, can we please go to bed? Um, It's 10 o'clock. Um, Emily's upstairs talking to a friend who called. So we've been talking to her. We were gonna watch Ozark, but we didn't because we ended up talking to her. And then the vibes just weren't really Ozark vibes. You know, like that's, it's not a heavy show, but it's like, you can't be in a heavy mood and watch a heavy show kind of thing. I just said it wasn't a heavy show. You know what I mean? I am gonna end the vlog here, I think. Um, there's nothing else much more to say, but that was the day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a like. I why can't, why, I keep on messing this up. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. What, do I always say, give it a like and subscribe and comment? I don't know what I usually say. What do I usually say? I vlogged for like a month straight and I can't remember. Anyway, just like the video, leave a comment. I reply to all the comments and make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.